Kingdom Come Deliverance in hardcore mode challenges its players to utilize the map in a more traditional manner by stripping away the typical waypoint system found in so many games. With the navigation cut down to a realistic bare minimum, there's always a chance that some of us might need a quick guide on how to use it. For the sake of simplicity, we only need to keep an eye on two things, roads and landmarks. By tracking these as we progress, guesstimating our current position and getting from one point to another becomes trivial. For example, here's my character who will leave Ratai for the first time on a journey towards Ujits. Most of the map details are still shrouded at this point, but I know for a fact that the destination resides somewhere northeast of Talmberg. Facing the Ratai Tavern, our map indicates that I should follow the road on the right side, leading out towards our desired direction. When Henry eventually reaches Neuhof, he is greeted by a fork on the road. Consulting the map by tracing our current path, we know Henry is right here, facing a center island with a shrine surrounded by three houses. Zooming in on the map, we can see that the road on the left leads to a clearing, while the other will take us to a forest infested with bandits. I decided to play it safe for now and took the former path. Along the way, he comes across an accident site, which shows up as a marker upon checking. This pinpoints our current location and verifies that we are indeed going on the right path. Landmarks and roads can also be used to check the direction when used in conjunction with our unmarked compass. The big lines represent cardinal north, south, east, and west, while the smaller lines are adjacent combinations of the primaries. As an example, Henry stopped by at the hunter's camp located here. To the west is an empty plot of land. To the east is the small encampment. Running through it is the trail that represents north and south. Facing the encampment, we can now tell that the big line here is east. To the right of it is south, and so on. That's all there is to it. However, the limitation of this method is palpable when traversing forests in the game. There are barely any landmarks, so it's easy to get lost, but that's okay. When visiting such areas, our objective there is most likely to engage in gathering, poaching, or raiding encampments. So that's fine to just wander around and have fun. But when it's time to go back into civilization, we can use the compass once again, this time using the sun as our guide, along with this. What we have here is a table of the sun's direction in accordance with the time. I will leave this text in the description so you can reference it if needed. Here's Henry who just finished gathering mushrooms in the forest west of Ratai and now wants to go back to the charcoal burner's camp. Upon checking the time, the direction of the sun indicates he is facing west and therefore only needs to head in the other direction. So there we have it. The waypoint system has become so prevalent in video games that it's quite refreshing to experience something that compels players to read the map in detail. With this guide, hopefully you'll find navigating the world of KCD a bit easier and make explorations a lot more fun.